So now that we've taken a look at a few of our navigation features, let's look at some search features in Atom. First of all, we have the way to find some bit of text in a current file or a selection within that file. We could also search across an entire project or group of files. Likewise, we can find a symbol like we looked at earlier. And there are ways for specifically finding a specific file if you know the file name. So now let's jump back into Atom and look at a few of these in action. The first of the search features that we need to look at is the simple command F, which will bring up a search prompt to search in the current buffer. And this buffer that it will search for by default is the current open page. However, if we had a group of code selected, for example, right here, we can click on the only in selection key here or option command S. And then our search, let's say, for example, we're looking for a knit, will only look within that search. Likewise, if that is turned off and we search for a knit, it will find it throughout the document. We could see here two results. Then we could use the shortcut command G to toggle through the occurrences of this word in the document. Likewise, when we use command F for find, we also have a replace option here. So if we wanted to name init something else, we could do that here and simply click replace to go on a case by case basis or replace all, which would do all of them at once. Notice I could also hit command Z to undo this if I made a mistake in making the replacement. I'm going to toggle my window open here by pressing command backslash just to show you a list of all the files here. So let's open up our view and we could see we have a load single content method here. I'm going to close my windows and then show you the command shift F. And what this will do is allow us to search through a certain directory or our entire project folder for an instance of a particular word that we're looking for. So for example, I'm going to say search for load single content across everything. And by not putting any directory in here, it will search through everything. So let's do a find and notice that instead of showing everything within the document, it will open up its own tab and show us, okay, in the router file, we have these instances and in view, we have this instance and we could tell when it's being called versus where it's being defined. Again, that's command shift F to search through the entire project. Now, if we only wanted to search through our JS folder, we could do something like this, which would mean, okay, search in my JavaScript folder for any file that has a name that ends in .js. Now this would accomplish the same thing, but if you did want to get specific about where you were searching, you could do that. So again, that is command shift F to do a search through the entire project. Now let's open this up again and we're going to mention something we already looked at before, but it's worth re-mentioning and that is we could do command R and we could search through all of the different methods or symbols within a particular file. So that one we looked at, but worth re-mentioning. And then finally, there is something similar to command R, but it's just for searching for files and that's command T. And if we hit command T, we could see a list of all the files in our project. And we could easily, for example, jump to the router simply by hitting command T and starting to type and right there you go. So that's even faster than lifting your hand off the keyboard, going and clicking on it. Or if you have this toggled off, you could easily open this up and see your files and search for them that way. So that is Command T to open a particular file. So there you have a number of powerful search features built into Atom. And again, these are pretty basic ones that you will probably find in, in most of the robust code editors out there.